I just got off of work, guys. It's like, what, 8.46, as you can see right there. Just got done working right now. Finished my uh, last delivery. So uh, I decided today I wanted to really step out of my comfort zone. And uh, for today, we're going to do a, a unique vlog. Instead of going to parks in order to vlog, guys, today we're going to go downtown. So let's get to it. stepping out of my comfort zone with this one guys all right so we're downtown right now hopefully as you guys can clearly see that we actually are downtown if you haven't already known by now you just know how how the city is downtown the way the buildings look right now and with all these cars over here yeah we are not in a park so there's gonna be a lot of people over here but uh, yeah guys um, we're here because I wanted to really get out of my comfort zone with this one because uh, I know I mean I've already been out of my comfort zone already when it came to like doing vlogs like out in the open but it's, it wasn't really the same thing because it's like I was vlogging in a park because I knew that there weren't going to be that many people but now um, like I'm actually here out in downtown now I, I deliberately wanted to do it at the nights because I didn't like even right now it's not like as many people like the only thing really is that there's gonna be a lot of cars so I purposely wanted to do this for the sense of like distraction to see if I could still stay focused and still be confident talking to a camera like an actual person without losing my train of thought because of how nervous I am of people looking around me and stuff but um, like since it's nighttime there's gonna be less people so obviously I know it's not going to be as hectic because right now if it was daytime I would have already walked past so many people by now you guys have no idea but we're out here and uh, I just wanted to uh, you know cuz like I wanted to come out here downtown and like really really record out in public matter of fact now that we're here downtown speaking of downtown that reminded me about how uh, Comic-Con is literally just a few days away guys that's right Today is June 27th at the time of recording. I'll probably get this out tomorrow on the 28th. Comic-Con, the thing that I've literally been hyping up since the beginning of this year. It's, uh, it's now just right around the corner, only a few days away on June 30th. And we're actually like a few minutes away from it because it's at the convention center and the convention center is literally here in downtown. So yeah, I wanted to come out here guys, down downtown and, and vlog in the night like I'm doing right now. But uh, while doing that, I thought to myself like what exactly do I want to talk about while I'm out here and uh, whoa what's going on now okay I'm just gonna go this way guys <sighs> but uh, yeah so those are the distractions I'm talking about I want to still keep my focus intact despite all the distractions that are out there but um, it came to the easiest conclusion for me as to what I wanted to actually talk about right now and uh, it was just me reflecting on all the vlogs that uh, we've literally made so far within uh, this uh, entire year most specifically the outdoor vlogs that I've been making guys and uh, man I um, I'm, I'm just so like in disbelief to this day as to like how many like of you guys have actually really enjoyed these vlogs so far and it really touches my heart because like I really did not know if you guys would actually like enjoy them because I'm being serious right now like when it came to this channel guys like obviously the main thing that I want to do on this channel is gaming and then occasionally vlogging but like when I wanted to do vlogging I didn't know that there were going to be some of my videos like were like they would actually be some of the most viewed videos on my channel so far and these are my vlogs that I'm talking about we've come so far guys ever since I bought this camera in March and here we are now at the end of June, about to enter July, and 
I've come to the point now where I can literally vlog downtown while being confident, while being able to talk to all of you guys on camera without losing my train of thought. And uh, I've just been so proud of myself for all of this training that I've done, because this is essentially training. I've had to build up my skills for several months to get to this point where I'm at right now. And uh, it's all thanks to you guys for caring about me to, uh, to this, this point where you guys actually like seeing my vlogs. And one of you, I even remember, one of you guys literally commented, I'll try to put it up here right now, uh, one of you guys literally hope that like I continue doing this even after Comic-Con. And for me, I was just originally planning on just doing this only for Comic-Con and then afterwards just like completely stopping. But uh, no, like you guys really, really enjoy seeing me do these these types of vlogs. And I thank you that for, for that guys so much. Hold up, let me just show you guys this real quickly right over here. So as you guys can see this building right here, man, I, like there's just something about downtown that just gives off like such good vibes to like this building right here. I mean, I don't know. I feel like looking at those buildings, it's like it's it's cool to look at from a distance and to see as a whole on the entire like city and everything. But like I just think to myself, like, would it really be a good place to live at? I don't know. Maybe for you guys to actually live in, you know, complexes like that, buildings like that, maybe you can let me know. But uh, either way, I wanted to come out here and just say it's been really amazing to see how we've not only developed the skills as a vlogger, how I've developed the skills as a vlogger and how we've uh, come to this point where now you guys are like fully expected to see me give the best vlog ever for Comic-Con, but we've literally managed to grow over like this, this time. Like, I, I was, we've gained over 100 subscribers, guys, within this year so far. We're halfway through the year. And while I did gain some of my subscribers from my gaming videos, I also uh, gained some subscribers from you guys watching my vlog videos. And I, I genuinely can't thank you enough, thank you guys enough for that because I, man, when I first started off with this, I really didn't know if you guys were going to enjoy this, but now seeing how this is some of the most viewed videos i have on my channel seeing how we've literally gained subscribers because of these vlog videos that i make and seeing how like, this was really what got to me seeing your guys's comments and seeing what you guys say within those vlogging videos of mine because you see i could have just made any sort of vlog videos guys but like when I first thought about it, I was like, okay, I want to develop my skills, but that will only be for myself. But then what can I do? How can I, what, what way can I find, how can I find a way where I can be able to not only give something to myself, but also give something to the people. And I thought to myself, let me talk about thought provoking topics in which people may or may not have, you know, like thought of those certain things in a, in a certain way, in a certain light, in a certain perspective. And so when I saw your guys' comments on all of this stuff and seeing how like you guys like really enjoyed seeing this stuff and like some of you guys like, especially with like my video with patience, man, I will never forget how one of you guys literally like said that you were like on the verge, like you were contemplating to quit YouTube and like, you watching my video about being patient and how it can take so much time before you actually achieve success and seeing it in the perspective that I, you know, had it in for all this time, like it, it just blows my mind that my video, my vlog videos literally had the power to literally change someone's mind on success and pursuing a dream to the point where I literally stopped them from giving up and gave them a little bit of extra motivation to keep going further. It's unreal guys what uh, we've uh, done so far on this channel with this small as I am with only 614 subscribers. It's, it's amazing to uh, see what we've done so far. In my uh, video, the first outdoor vlog video that I did guys when uh, I bought this camera for the first time. I said that I wanted to make a total of 15 outdoor vlogs. And this video right now, guys, is literally the 15th one. I've reached my goal of making 
15 outdoor vlogs before Comic-Con starts. And I'm just so proud of myself to have achieved that goal of mine and to have gotten all the support from you guys as well alongside that. So I think that's enough for me talking downtown because I'm not gonna lie there. I haven't really been that many people walking around right now. So, and on top of that, I've been like really killing it so far. Like I really do not care about all these cars that are passing me right now. Literally a cop that just passed me right now and I'm still vlogging, I really do not care. If I can be able to vlog like this on Comic-Con, on, on the day of Comic-Con, with a bunch of people walking around me and me, you know, dressing up as my cosplay character, then I'm definitely gonna kill it. Today is June 27th, guys, and in three days, it will be the beginning of Comic-Con which is gonna be down here, Denver, Colorado, at the convention center. And uh, I'm just gonna let you know this right now, guys. I'm gonna kill it. I'm absolutely gonna kill it with the cosplay, with the vlog, and with the experience that I'm gonna give all of you guys for this vlog video. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be the most hyped video of the year. This video is going to be the video of 2023. I'm telling you that right now. So get ready, guys, because in just one week, I will have the video uploaded. You guys will be absolutely mind blown at how amazing this video is going to be. So, I will see you guys very soon because now I'm gonna get started tomorrow with uh, prepping up everything for uh, this Comic Con, guys. So, that's gonna be it for me. Man, downtown is such a, it, it is such a vibe. I'm telling you that right now, guys. I will see you guys in the next video, everybody. And until next time, everybody. Take care of yourselves. I think there's still one more thing that I need to say because I don't think that I said everything that I needed to say within um, this video so far. With all of this, guys, you see, of course, I said that I wanted to do all of this because of Comic Con, right? And how I made all of these outdoor vlogs so that I could become a better vlogger so that I could give you guys, so I could make the best vlog for you guys possible when I go to Comic Con. But at the end of the day, guys, um, like I just used Comic-Con as a reason to do outdoor vlogs, to make it seem more like a valid reason. Because at the end of the day, I still wanted to do vlogs regardless, guys. This is more than just simply me becoming better at vlogging, guys. You have literally let me complete myself as the Harpy Eagle. Now you see, in order for you all to really understand what I mean by that, like, I, I would really suggest that you guys watch my 2022 recap video. Because, man, when it came to my channel as the Harpy Eagle, I feel like before 2022, guys, like, I wasn't, like, truly being the channel that I wanted to be. And in 2022, I did, like, the main, like, part of it where I actually became the channel that I wanted to become. But even then, I still felt like there was some, there was a little something that was still missing from my channel. I found out that what I was still missing in 2023 was vlogs, but outdoor vlogs, because I barely did any. I only did two or three on my entire channel, but I wanted to do so many more outdoor vlogs. And now in 2023, I've actually done it. So, with you guys watching my videos and you guys actually enjoying them and you guys saying some things that I never expected to, to see you guys say, I'm truly, truly so thankful to all of you for letting me complete myself. So thank you all so much, guys. And now, because of that, I'm gonna return to you all a favor. I'm telling you this right now. This is going to be the best video that I make of this year. My vlog on Comic-Con is going to be video of the year. Nothing is going to top this video. I am going to put my heart and soul into making this vlog video, guys. You have no idea. Because I've been hyping it up for too long. Ever since the beginning of this year, literally the first video that I made in this year, I was already talking about Comic-Con. So much build up, so much foreshadowing, so much anticipation. I'm not about to let it all just be in vain and be so anticlimactic. No. This vlog video, guys, man, this is gonna solidify me as one of the best vloggers on YouTube. That's all I wanted to say, guys. Get ready for Comic-Con because this is going to be 
one of the greatest vlog videos you will ever see in your life. I promise you that. But with that, I end this video, everybody. And once again, thank you all for allowing me to complete myself as the RP Eagle and to allow me to do all of the things that I truly wanted to do on YouTube. So thank you all. And hopefully you all have a good night. And until next time.